Okay, kids, good morning today. Today is Wednesday. We are going to study math. Are you ready for your math today? All right, so our lesson is about clothing and counting in twos. And also we are going to study more on odd numbers and even numbers. Do you still remember? Okay, always remember, okay? So please listen carefully so that you can finish your activities by yourself, all right? So uh, look at the board. Okay, you're going to review the even numbers. Okay, so even numbers can be divided by into two, okay? So even numbers are the numbers by twos like zero, two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30, okay? You can continue your, your counting until 100, 200, or more, okay? So I end it until 30 only. For the odd numbers, start with the numbers that cannot be divided by into two. So like one, three, five, seven, nine, se eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, and other more, okay? You can count that way, okay? Until 100, 200, it's up to you. Okay, so these are the even numbers and these are the odd numbers. All right, so last, uh, uh, last Wednesday, I give you your homework. I hope that you did your homework, okay? Because in here, you're going to count the pairs of this clothing okay did you count how many pairs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there are ten pairs okay and how many uh, clothes are here you're going to count all so there are 20 pieces of clothing all together okay so uh, thank you for your homework and uh, I'm going to present to you this picture dictionary again. So these are the picture dictionary. This is a hat, okay? For girls, you can use hat. And uh, for a cap, uh, also boys, you can use your cap, okay? Hat for girls, cap for the boys. And this is a dress. Uh, girls can uh, wear dress, okay? Beautiful dresses like color pink, red, blue, yellow. So whatever color you want to wear. And this is undershirt. Undershirt you can wear inside your clothes, okay? So undershirt. This is skirt. Skirt is for the uh, girls. You can wear skirt. And this is blouse also for the girls, okay? For the boys, you can have your shirt. And for the girls, you have your blouse. And you can have also your dress uniform for girls. And you can also have uniform for the boys, okay? So these are the picture dictionary. And also here, another picture. Look at here. If you see this one, these are flowers, okay? So there are some clothes that printed with flowers and also clothes printed with clothes or leaves, okay? So if you see, this, these are flowers and these are leaves. And you can see down here, you can see that they have different kind of socks. Do you have a socks, girls and boys? You can wear uh, this kind of socks, okay? So you can see this kind of sock. We have black here. You have a stripe, a strip here, okay? This is another kind of sock. This is sock number one. And for the sock number two, you see the stripe. There is a stripe here, okay? This is another kind of socks, okay? For the number three socks, you can see there is like this, okay? The print is like this, okay? So this is another kind of sock, and you have sock that 
printed with star okay so that has uh, that have two stars okay you're going to find later okay and there are also socks that printed with square okay this is square all right and this is also dot dotted dotted sock you can see dot okay this is dotted sock there are dots here and it's also sock that have two lines okay two lines like this okay then another sock that dotted small dot big dot big circle small dot okay there are small dots small and this is also strips small strips and small line here big line small lines okay and this is also another kind of socks like this okay so now you are going to count how many pairs of socks pairs means two if you wear socks you have to wear two socks okay sock for the right and for the uh, for left for right foot and for your left foot so you're going to count how many socks how many pairs later okay so uh, these are flowers these are leaves these are socks okay so uh, for your counting for your practice you're going to to count the even numbers and the odd numbers and also identify the picture dictionary here okay so uh, i give you five minutes to practice counting even numbers and odd numbers i'll be back after five minutes okay kids uh, all right so uh, most of you are excellent okay so uh, there are only some that uh, they need to practice how to count all right so here is your here are your uh, book activities task one and two, task two and task number three all right so uh, for your task number one at page 21 page 21 okay at page 21 we're going to write even numbers in the boxes okay there are box three boxes here okay so uh, find the numbers okay first to do is you're going to count how many hats here okay for number one how many hats one two three four is four even numbers or odd number four is even numbers you're going to write number four okay then here one two three four five six okay which of these men are wearing even numbers of hats write the even numbers in the box so one two three four five six is six even numbers or odd numbers it is even numbers so you're going to write even okay even numbers or just even 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 and about number three one two three how many hats so you're not going to write odd anymore so just uh just leave this one okay write the even numbers in the box so count how many hats and write here for number one count how many hats for number two you're going to write if the number is not even numbers do not write anymore okay only the numbers that is even you write inside the boxes okay for uh, here write the odd numbers in the boxes okay check if the number is uh, is odd you write inside the box for example one two are you going to write two here no okay because two is even it's not odd about uh, box number two count the hats one two three four five six seven is seven odd number 
Yes, you're going to write seven. About box number three, one, two, three, four, five. Is five odd number? Yes, you're going to write number five. Okay? So please do it by yourself. For the task number two, write the odd numbers in the boxes. So, so box, task number two is at page uh, 22. All right, fill in the blanks. This one are blanks, the spaces here are blanks. You are going to uh, count how many clothes on this uh, rack, hanging rack. This is a hanging rack. You're going to count how many clothes are here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six pieces of clothing hanging from the rack. This is an, what is six? Is it odd or even? You're going to write here even numbers. Okay, this is an even numbers. Okay, for number two, you're going to to count how many clothes on the bed, okay? You're going to count how many pieces of clothes on the bed, okay? You're going to count all, one, two, three, four, five. So there are five pieces of clothing on, bed, on the bed. How about five? What number is five? Is it even or odd? Okay, if your answer is odd, you're going to write odd, O double D, okay? So count the how many clothes are in the hanging rack and also count how many clothes on the bed and answer this one, okay? All right, and the last activity is about this. Flowers on the batik shirt. Okay, this one. Okay, you can see flower and leaves. Okay, count the flowers and then the leaves on the shirt. Is each number even or odd? Okay, here. How many flowers on the batik shirt? You count how many flowers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight. There are eight flowers and a batik shirt. So what is a eight? What is a number eight? Is it odd or even? Okay, you're going to write here even. Okay, then number two, how many leaves are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're going to write seven. There are seven leaves on the batik shirt. What is seven? Is it odd or even? Okay, so number seven is odd number, so you're going to write odd, O double D. Okay, all right, so please do it by yourself. For the last activity is about this one, okay? About socks. You're going to count how many pairs of socks. So you've tried to find a pair of this. Pair means two. Okay, for the right sock and for the left socks, okay? So here is the different kinds of socks. Okay, you're going to count how many pairs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so how many pairs? So you count them by twos, okay? So uh, you're going to answer this. How many pairs of socks are, are here or are there? So you count them by twos, okay? So there are 10 pairs. And how many socks are there? So you're going to count all the socks here and you're going to write here, all right? So please count all the socks and count them by twos, okay? So this is your number four activity. All right, so please count by yourself and answer these activities by yourself. I will give you 20 minutes to go over this and finish this. Okay, and after that, please uh, uh, drop your answers for your scores. I'll be back after 20 minutes.
Okay, here we go. For your homework kids, please look at this, okay? So at page uh, 25, you're going to ring the dancers in groups of two, okay? Ring means you're going to circle. But first, before you circle, you're going to see the different kinds of clothes, okay? So you're going to, to circle by twos according to the clothes. For example, number for these two, they are wearing skirt. So you're going to circle these two, okay? They are wearing pants, you're going to circle two. You're going to circle by twos, okay? One, two, circle. 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 Circle. And you're going to count how many circles are here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten circles. You're going to write, there are ten groups of two dancers. And for here, you're going to count all of the dancers, okay, by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You're going to write twenty. There are twenty dancers all together. Okay? Alright, so this is your homework. Please uh, drop this before your time on Wednesday, okay? So, see you tomorrow for your science. Prepare your science book for tomorrow. Thank you for your listening and thank you for your cooperation. Bye-bye.